In this short video, I will demonstrate three different styles of best next actions in XM Pro. I'm currently logged in as Tim Clark, who's the sales manager. And if I look at Tim's to do list or task list under the market and sell products and services category, you will see that there are currently two transactions waiting for him to do two items requiring his attention. Tim can have a look and see how it got to him. So in the order trail, as it builds up the order trail, he can see that it was started by Keith and went on to Jim and it even includes the XM Pro social discussions component. This is covered in a different video and I suggest that you have a look at that in terms of how discussions can be part of the transactional order trail. To get back to the best next actions, Tim needs to decide on one of the four options on the right hand side. XM Pro's event based architecture allows you to call events like these independently and they are not wired together at the back through workflow. Now we can embed what we call in flight analytics to use XM Pro transactional information or to use third party transactional information to help you with the decision. So this information can come from XM Pro information or any third party business application that you may have. Another way of providing some decision support is to provide some process goals. Now these goals follow the process as it steps through the transaction. In this instance we're looking at information from the ERP budget to see where we are currently with our sales um, for the quarter for example and we're also looking at what does our prospect pipeline look like from the external CRM solution. Once again this can be XM Pro based information or at it can be external information that will help you with uh, deciding on what the, what the next step is. The last component and we will show you three different examples of this best next is to look at what the system tells you what the best next action is and at this instance it looks at the previous occurrences. This is a simple algorithm, a simple formula. It just looks at what people did before me and out of the 250 odd transactions in here, I can see that the advised action is to do a legal review. So that will allow me, if I'm a new employee or someone uh, that needs guidance that do, that doesn't know any other context or don't have any other information to choose a legal review. The system doesn't make the decision for you, it purely advises what you should do next because you may still have information at hand that will f take you to either do a finance check or to do recasting. You may have heard something around the credit status of the customer and decide to look at a credit check rather than to do a legal review. Let's look at another example. A different style example and in this instance I'm going to log in as John Smith and John has a different if I look at his cases under life sciences he's got a completely different style so in this instance there's donor verified donor information this is in the medical area or uh, uh, life sciences area and in this instance when we look at his best next action so he's got certain information here and based on that it's either referred to a specialist um, approve the enrollment get more information or reject it so his best next action based on information that is currently filled in on the screen there's a risk rating calculation that we do so this best next action is algorithm dri driven and the algorithm will then determine what the current risk profile is based on a number of parameters and it also tells us if we look at a thousand transactions that happened before this if we look at the history only 9.73 percent of users were approved for this so based on the risk profile and the trend of this not being approved the best next action once again is uh, suggested and not enforced so in this instance it is reject enrollment there might still be contextual information information that this case officer knows and as a result of that they may want to refer it to a specialist rather to re than to reject it outright. So that is the second example of best next action. The last example that I'd like to show you is 
and you can log in with any one of the providers I just use the XM Pro authentication for the demonstration so if I log in as Ted Ted is a financial manager and he has got a task waiting for him around procurement so there's an uh, approval uh, for a new supplier and in this instance we actually we've done a OFAC review in terms of the foreign individuals looking at some a new supplier that we want to do business with and in this instance there was a initial lodgement of the request and some of the information that has come back from the web services search that we've done against the OFAC database has returned some information now this is not a direct match so in this instance it was referred to um, Ted to have a review and what Ted will do is run through a algorithm a, a, a sort of a best practices and, and there's certain information that based on the correctness of the information he will un answer yes or no yes or no and if for example if he answers yes it will direct him to request a concession suggest that if I go back and I say no and I say yes over here it will say report to the OFAC hotline so that's the other one or if that is a no you will see that this is approved for onboarding so you can put a logical algorithm here as well it doesn't just have to be data based it can help as a decision support system for someone to decide what the next best action is thank you very much for your time and I hope to see you in one of our other videos